indeed very cold. It is. Or very too, hot. Uh, in in cold. fact, it is. Residents of Brookston now finally back in the 21st century again after a few days without power. News Channel 18's Alex Dyro joins us now with more on this story. Alex. Homes and businesses have been without power since 6:30 Saturday evening. Now that power has been restored, business owners and residents can get back to life as they know it. Downtown Brookston is open again for business. As homes and shops around the White County community lit up again for the first time in nearly three days. A lot of people were surprised this morning when they got up and it was and it was on, so they were happy. For Brookston Utilities Superintendent Max Eldridge, it's been a long few days trying to restore power to the 850 homes and businesses left without after Saturday's storm. If that substation's out, the whole town is out. The whole municipal part of Brookston is out. And nobody felt the outage more than the business owners of downtown Brookston. For Bartlett Ford of Brookston Service Manager Justin Kokenauer, Several days without power means several repairs the auto shop couldn't get to. Unfortunately, this is our busy time of the year, so um, without the power, of course, we can't run any of the tools in the shop. So we're extremely backlogged. Uh, we didn't have any phones. Um, we didn't have any computers. So, of course, trying to contact people or people calling in, it was just extremely difficult. For Two Cook and Sisters owner Kim Robinson, the power came back on just in time to ensure her food products were safe from spoiling. Having power out for three days was a little tough. That's the first time that we've ever experienced something like that. But we got the generators running. We got everything iced down as soon as possible. And so we, didn't, we did not lose very much product. For other residents, though, the outage was a reminder to appreciate the comforts of technology. You're just used to just hitting the switch, and it's there, and you just you, you take it for granted. Mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to have it back. Eldridge says this is the longest outage since the winter of 1991. Alex Dyro, News Channel.